Yo, what is up people? It is your boy Sneels right here. I hope you guys are once again having a fantastic day today on this lovely, beautiful day to be honest. So yeah, hope you're having a great day today. Of course though, just to say, <laughs> the weather's probably completely different uh, in your area, wherever you're watching this, you know, it might be, you know, like I said, completely different. It could be raining, fucking snowing, I don't care. <laughs> it could be anything right now. Um, but right now, it's actually a really nice day and it's feeling like summer in some ways. Um, maybe not temperature wise, but you know, um, the sun's starting to come out, so you're kind of getting that vibe, I guess, uh, which is all good. But enough of that, anyways. On to, of course, our FIFA career. And as you see right now on the screen, we have sold Brahim Amrani um, for 95, yeah, 95 million pounds. Sold him to West Ham United, who we'd literally just played as well um, a couple of games ago, I think it was. Um, but yeah, he's gone. For 95 million, he's now on 63,000 pound a week as well at West Ham. Great deal you got there, mate. I've got to be honest. Uh, valued at 58 million. Um, obviously, originally got offered, I think, 75 million for him. But I thought, you know what? Because I weren't desperate to let him go, I thought I'd chance it and see what I could get for him. And well, you know, I asked for 100 million, but instead um, they said they'll pay. Um, I think they went down to, I think it was 78 or 77. I thought still not enough to sell him. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna be cheeky. Arthur, still about 95 million. Bam. Just accept it, just like that. So only five million pound reduced from the 100 million valuation I offered uh, to them. And yeah, in the end, they thought, yeah, 95 million was just <laughs> nice and cheap, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I don't know what the difference is, but there you go. They say five million is what it is. So got rid of him. Not really a player I wanted to let go. I'm gonna be honest, Amrani is someone I didn't really want to let go. Um, at 20 years old, you know, he's still young, still got a lot to improve. And yeah, just a quality player in some ways, but he hasn't really done it for me. And I thought, you know what? There was someone on my list that I thought, you know, I'll, I'll cash in on Amarani and get this other guy if I can get him. Which, thankfully, I did. So, um, but before we go on to who I bought, which obviously you probably see right there, um, but yeah, I got this guy, uh, Frederick Hope, a 20 year old goalkeeper. Um, I spent seven and a half million pounds with him. So, See, with the sale of Amrani, I've got a bit of money to spend. So I've still got, I think, 38 million to spend. Um, so it's not too bad. Um, so hopefully, Adam, you know, maybe one or two uh, towards the end of uh, the window, maybe. If I do, I'll let you guys know. Um, I do have a guy, uh, I think his name's Kai Kai, or KK, um, from uh, Man City, uh, right when you're Brazilian, I think it is. Um, I've actually put a loan bid in for the short, short term. I want to see what he's like. I didn't want to spend, I think it was 32 million, I think his valuation. He doesn't look like a player's worth that, but he could play like that. So if he's a decent player, I might get him early in the season. I don't know. So I wanted to get a short loan on him. And it's been accepted and agreed. Um, just obviously have to wait until he agrees to join if he wants to come on loan. If he doesn't, is what it is. Um, but yeah, so anyway, as I said, this guy bought Frederick Hope, 20 years old goalkeeper. Um, came from uh, Birmingham, I think. Was it Birmingham? Yeah, Birmingham it came from. Uh, for 7.5 million, um, 19,000 a week. Yeah, stats don't look great, you've got to be honest from there, but at 20 years old, he looked alright. A lot of teams were after him, so I thought, you know, I'll get him as a backup keeper. I'll get rid of the other goalkeeper, so, you know, I might get a better keeper in the summer. I don't know. Um, but yeah, on to the main story, of course. As you guys know, as you've probably seen there, as I was going to uh, switch into look at the, the, the goalkeeper, Hope. Um, we bought this guy. Now, Adiyumi is a player, if you guys have been watching my series, of course on the last series especially, he was an absolute formidable player. Um, I think I got him at a younger age than this, I think I got him at like 20 years old. Um, obviously at Man City he was, um, but he's been playing, um, was it FC Colm? Oh, no, Union Berlin, okay. Um, he's been playing there, has that special something as it says, only cost me 45 million. Now, still a lot of money um, for a team like MK Dons especially, but we had the money. We sold Amrani for 95 million pounds, a lot of money. So we had the money to spend to replace uh, Amrani and that's what we did. Spent 45 million on him. He's only valued at 32 million, but on 45 grand a week as well, so my most expensive uh, player in terms of wages. 93 acceleration, 93 spin speed, you know, 89 balance, just everything is absolutely top player. And if he can still turn out, even though he's 23, so he's getting to that mid-age now where he's gonna start getting to a prime you know, uh, player. Um, you know, Hopefully he can still improve his stats. Um, but, like I said, I'm more than happy to bring him in. I don't know what he's like on 22, but on 21, he was formidable. Absolutely unplayable. Um, so hopefully he can add that and get some decent goals uh, for us. But you know, we'll see, of course, it'll be early days. 
but he will be playing against Tottenham, um, that's for sure. So hopefully he can get off to a good start in the FA Cup there. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. That is literally it. But Adi Yumi for me, quality player. Um, I mean, we'll just go in quickly the depth of his stats. Uh, can't really do it like that. I don't know why. I mean, you can't really do it. Um, but as you see here, so he's right here. So uh, development wise, so obviously I've got him on poacher right now, but you know, just only improve. Like I want to improve his stamina, which is only 77. So that's why I've done that for now. Um, but like I said, 93 acceleration, 88 agility, 89 bounds, 88 jumping. 93 sprint speed, you know, uh, just such a quality play. He's still got 84 finishing, uh, which won't improve for some reason. Um, 84 volleys, 81 shot power, you know, 80 penalties, you know, 86 dribbling as well, 87 ball control. You know, such a quality player, this guy. Always liked him, um, and hopefully he can add something to the squad still. Um, he takes over the 14 shirt as well. So, yeah, don't know what else to say other than that he's a quality player, and he well, should hopefully turn out to be the player that I expect not as, as we had him on the last FIFA update, um, the FIFA title, sorry. So, you know, hopefully he does turn out to be a quality player. If he doesn't, it's what it is. But yeah, I chance in on him and that's it. So, other than that, on to our next game. We do have Spurs, of course, in the FA Cup. So that'll be the first game of this video. So just to go through the fixtures that we've got. Uh, so Tottenham to finish off this month. Um, then we've got West Brom away and then we've got Everton away as well. So all three games are well, at home for the FA Cup against Tottenham and then two away games in the league. So not easy, easy, but you know, easier than what we've had recently. Um, but that doesn't mean anything. It could still go completely wrong and terrible. So you know, hopefully still have a good result, but you know, it is what it is. We'll see what we can do. Um, but yeah, Spurs is the first game. Like I said, if any transfers happen, buying or, or selling, I'll let you guys know, of course. Uh, but let's go ahead with this. Let's see what we can do with Tottenham at home. Can we get a result? I really do hope we can. Of course, it's Tottenham, as you know, Arsenal fan. <sighs> if I lose today, it's going to be annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. So, see what we can do anyways. Like I said, Tottenham. Let's hope to get that win. That's it. Come on, Adi Yumi. Good one, two. Can he score? He does. It's his debut goal. Five minutes gone. We go one nil up. Karim Adiyemi gets the dream debut um, that you kind of expect him to sort of get, and the movement there was absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, just got to change that here, but yeah, brilliant stuff there. Great run, and Adiyemi does a one-two with my new right wing. Of course, that came uh, in January. Has a brilliant goal there, and there you go. Is one nil. What a start. Unfair, that's all I can say. <laughs> Nothing really wrong with it. He's played the ball over. Don't know how he's beat my left back just like that. Serge Gnabry of all people. <laughs> Somehow he's playing for Tottenham. But yeah, annoying. 1-1. One, one. It shouldn't be. It's all about though. Could get this right. Adiyemi, his second goal for the club in his first game for me. Has got us 2-1 up back in the lead. Fully deserved. Brilliant stuff there, actually fantastic stuff. Um, good movement there. Um, the first part didn't really, if I, if I showed you up from the first part, um, didn't really come off well. But Adimi there, clinical striker, he's there. Just such a quality player. Already his second goal in his first game. Can't fault him, man. 2 1. Go on, hold that. Oh! Unfortunate. Great hit on his weaker foot. Ah. Oh. Oh, you bastard. Oh, what a say. Esposito has been fantastic in this game. He's kept that a lot. That's a great ball over. If that went in, wouldn't be surprised. What a save. Get in there. It's a 2-1 victory. We have knocked Tottenham out of the FA Cup. And fully deserved. What a game. Honestly, what a game. Being honest. Tottenham probably, probably should have, could have, what well, could have won this game, or at least got a draw to take a replay, if it is a replay or extra time, whatever. But the keeper, Esposito, man of match for me. Honestly, I'm being serious, man of match. Adiyemi second, obviously, with two goals on his debut, gives us the two on win. What a game to get it. Seriously, on a serious note, what a player. 
and there you go, it does the job for me and that's what you pay that money for, for players that can get the goals. And that's what he does in those positions and he gets them. 2-1, brilliant win, brilliant result and can't ask for any more. And just to finish off, because I keep looking at my screens, because for some reason my Elgato keeps going to, um, coming off live recording, like obviously I have it live, you know what I mean, when you record it's just like that, but it keeps going off if that makes sense, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I had to keep switching it every time. Beef away, so you know it shouldn't really affect my mic, hopefully. But yeah, <laughs> just feel like I mentioned that anyway. But yeah, that's why I keep looking to make sure everything's fine. Beef away, two one. Like I said, great result. Okay, so on to our next game, uh, which we do have, as you see, West Brom away in 20th place. So not doing great. Also, there should be three points from this, but again, you never know. Um, but yeah, hopefully, a good performance here. Um, in this game, um, nothing's really happened in terms of transfers except we did sell our goalkeeper. Um, so if we just go to my club, so this guy uh, is it Anthony, no, Aaron Van Lari, that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, he's gone to Fairnod um, for 2.5 million pounds. Was a keeper brought for free, um, brought for free, got for free. Um, yeah, just didn't really, I mean, he was all right, but he was only a backup, not all that. So now he's gone. That the other goalkeeper, I think his name is Frederick Hope. Came from Birmingham, of course, seven and a half million spent on him. He should be my main backup now uh, with this guy gone. So, yeah, that's the only transfers that has happened. I mean, we did try to get uh, some guy called Pedro, uh, wait, I should be able to show you, Pedro Velagara or something like that. Yeah, this guy, um, De, De La Ve De La Vega. Pedro De La Vega. Um, he's on 20 and a half thousand pound a week. We offered him 35 grand a week, and apparently it was an insult. So, <laughs> here's what it is. Uh, we actually, had a 33 and a half million pound deal in place to buy him but they didn't want to uh, well they accepted that but didn't want to sell him as in the agent was frustrated of the ways we offered him um we offered him bonus as well and everything but you know if they don't want to accept that fine here's what it is so um not desperate for him um, we also went for this guy till weber uh, or weber a 20 year old german international um obviously it says they're 58 and a half million that's what they wanted uh, in the end um, but he's actually, he, well, he's worth 35 and a half million. We offered, I think, 25 million plus Thiago Moraes in a swap deal uh, to try and land him. Um, seems like a good player, but yeah. Um, obviously, the club didn't want Thiago, so they then said they wanted 58 and a half million. I haven't got 58 million on me, so yeah, couldn't get hold of him. So was that, so that broke down. So yeah, that is literally all that's happened. Obviously, Kai Kai, um, Kai Kai, or Keiki, I don't know how you pronounce it, I guess it's something like that. Um, he's on a staggering £82,000 a week for a 21-year-old who doesn't really look all that, to be honest. I mean, he's got good stats, but not acceleration-wise, you know, sprint-wise, yeah. But overall, he's not, isn't he? I mean, it's crazy he's worth £34 million and he's not got, ex you know, proper stats. I don't mean that, excuse me, that great. Um, but I just wanted to loan him, see what he's like, but he didn't want to come on loan. So, so be it, I guess. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, so we've done that. So that is that. So on to the next game of West Brom. Um, like I said, transfer's done. But on to West Brom. Can we get the victory here? Hopefully we can. I don't see why not. But yeah, let's see what we can do on this one. So three points in the bag, hopefully. Oh. What, where's my defence? Two minutes gone, they've scored that. Where is my defence? Are you serious right now? I'm actually really pissed off that. Like... Again, defending fine, nothing wrong with it. They've just got a ball through like that. Keeper probably should do better, to be honest. And then, I, sorry, I see not really much pressure. How they've got that ball through without a defender putting a foot out to get that ball, I absolutely have no clue. Oh, 1 0 West Brom. Very lucky goal. Very lucky. Go on. Yes! What an equaliser. Thiago scores and puts it in for 1 1. Fantastic, honestly, brilliant stuff there. Great movement down that left side. Well done from Horvat as well, my left winger. Brilliant stuff, gets us back in it. Finally, we do deserve it. 100% been all over since they went 1 0 up. Um, but yeah, brilliant stuff. Great finish from Thiago. There you go, 1 1. Good ball over. Oh, good connection, but not much power. But great ball from Han Hyde, my left back there. How are we not 2 1 up? I really don't get it. Oh, come on. 
absolutely brilliant all over West Brom in this game. Come on. Come on, Horvath. Yes! Finally, we've scored that second goal. The keeper saved it. He's hit the post and gone in. What a celebration from Horvath as well. Finally got that goal. I kid you not, I've had at least five decent chances since uh, going 1-1. And honestly, you know, gets a bit of a hand there uh, to, you know, to push it into the goal practically. But oh, Horvat, you know, out of all people, is definitely someone I want on the end of that. And there you go, posing a bit of luck there. Only a tiny bit of luck. It's not really luck, is it? But, you know, in that sense. But yeah, 2-1. Fully deserve it, man. Come on, Vergara, 3-1. Good little movement there. Vergara with his first goal for me as well. Um, in the Premier League, well, just in general, anyways. Uh, obviously, swapped with uh, Villar, but that went the other way to Udinese. But yeah, brilliant stuff there. We get that third goal finally to give us a bit of breathing space. And Adiimi, uh, obviously, came on as well. He's uh, played a part in that. And there you go. We get the third goal. Can't be any happier. Finally, for once, we do well. Just yeah, finally get that goal. That next goal. Oh, what a ball. And Yimi! 4-1. First goal in the Premier League for Karim Adiyemi. And what a finish. What a ball through, actually, from Gonzalez. That's a fantastic ball through. And, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, the ball made that. What a ball. I see the run there. I thought, you know, I'm going to try it. I've held down Y, and it's gone through absolutely perfectly. I was going to hit it first time, to be honest. But I thought, you know what, let's control it. And there we go. Boom. You expect them to finish that still. And he does. 4-1. Get in there. 4-1 victory. Solid victory. Adeyemi gets his first Premier League goal for us. It's his third goal in two games. Absolutely incredible player. Uh, comes on obviously as a sub. You know, for a rest of me. He was a bit tired. And uh, just in general, West Brom, I thought, you know, I'll give Thiago, give some other players games. And that's what I did. And uh, everyone done brilliantly, really. Um, and there you go. As simple as that. 4-1. One nil down, of course, inside two minutes. Didn't deserve it. It was a very lucky goal. Where's my players? I don't know. Somehow they got the ball through. I really don't know how. But then from there we just come back in it. Moray's got a goal, even though it came on, um, came off in the end. Um, but you know, just came back strongly. And we fully deserved that, honestly. Fully deserved it. Okay, so on to our last game of this episode. Now we have Everton away. Like I said, so you know, it's got to be a tough game. It will be a tough game. Um, I still expect to try and take three points here, even though they're right behind us. So in that sense, it's going to be tough. Um, but you know, we're doing well. We are playing well. Good football as well. So um, just hopefully we can prove that. Um, obviously, 41 points on the table, which is all good. Um, and yeah, you know, I mean, there's not much else to say on it. Just you know, we're getting there. We're getting the points, and just victories in general. So. It's a good first season, it is a good first season, we can't be ashamed of this uh, so far, it's a decent season uh, for our first one uh, in the Premier League, so you know, with the squad that we have, we're doing alright, so yeah, on to Everton anyways, can we improve that? Hopefully we can. Oh, what the fuck? Are you actually, are you, are you actually kidding me? What the fuck has just gone on with this fucking game? my biggest proof yet biggest proof yet that this game is actually broke stop sitting now don't do not sit there and think I've, I've done wrong there I've played it to a wing back I press A that's all I've done well not wing back actually centre back I played it across to him and it's gone like that I don't care what the players passing stats are that's a normal ball this game absolutely wrong this game fucking wrong oh come on I mean, it's a goal, I take it, but I've gone and slotted it. Well, Gonzalez is probably not left foot. I think he is right foot, as he's gone and shot for his right. But you'd think, even if you ain't left foot or whatever foot, you know, you'd think, like, in this instance, why don't you just shoot your left foot? I placed it for that corner. It's gone the other way instead. Luckily, it's gone in. Deserve a goal, though. We do. But 1-1, one, one, man. I mean, there goal I won't get over with. I really won't. Honestly, it's been all over him, all over him. To be fair, it's a great goal. It's a great finish, to be honest, to be really honest with you. But 
defending fine. There's nothing wrong with defending. I'm just still pissed off that first goal. That's what's going to be the downfall of this game, this match. But, you yeah, know, nothing wrong with the goal. Good turn and then bent it to one corner. There's, there's nothing you could do about it. But defending again is, is fine, really. There's nothing really wrong with it, except that little you know, booter just runs a bit too far and then, yeah, it's gave him that space. But shouldn't be too one. It should be two on last, to be honest with you. Really honest with you. Oh, go on, Andy. <laughs> Still will turn around, 2-2, two, two. Adeyemi gets us back in it just after half-time. Uh, wait, no, it's just before half-time, isn't it? it is, are we in second? I don't know if we're in second, I'll actually, to be honest. Um, but yeah, great little turn there, you know, standard turn, you know, bog standard, literally. It's a good finish from Adeyemi into the corner of his second Premier League goal now. And there you go, 2-2, two, two, back in it, but should be 2-1, I'm not even kidding. No. <laughs> in terms of chances, we've been all over Evan. In terms of chances, but Evan have been tough. They've been tough. They have been tough in this game. We still got time to get that free free again, to come back in it again. But it's a lucky goal in most ways. Nothing wrong with it, but defence is fine. It's literally perfectly fine. I'm sorry, but it is. Um, but attacking wise, we should we should have at least two or three goals extra. I'm not even kidding. We've had some decent chances. Just won't go in. A very, very, very unfair defeat. Very unfair. Um, I, I wouldn't have showed you it, but just literally there. I was running with Bondo. I went to play the ball, and it just took so long to play it. Even if it didn't save up, so take so long to play it, they just somehow managed to get that one little pinky toe on the ball. I'm not even joking. I might sound so stupid saying that, but seriously, I don't know how they're blocking this, blocking that. Honestly, you know, deserves to at least have a point. So. With that, I'm really unhappy with FIFA today. Um, I mean, when has that ever changed? But, no, we do. We deserve at least at the least a draw. It, it's got to be a draw at least. Uh, simple as that. 2-2, two, 3-3, two, three, three, doesn't matter. Even 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, it was a good game. As you see there, if you just see there on that on that screen, you know, that goal that they got there shouldn't be a goal. Simple as that. So it should have been a draw, really, if that being, being said. Um, so yeah, you know, you know, we just know certain goals are going to lead, you know, to bad things, and it's, it's just going to be the reason why we've got a defeat, really. Um, but yeah, um, in most ways better side, but at the same time, Everton deserves something in, in most ways. But I, I think, I think a point, a point should have been fair. But yeah, somehow, Jesus, excuse me, somehow we uh, lost that, and I absolutely have no clue, really. But. There you go, it's all there. Um, I mean, your thoughts on that? Yeah, let me know, but we definitely deserve to lose, no way. Okay, so I'm gonna, of course, end the video there, um, as it is the last game, so the third game of that. Um, as you see right now on the screen, Dabo Halvat was injured in the last game. You might have noticed I brought Amaral on. Didn't do much, Amaral just wasn't really, I'd say he's not as on the level as Horvat, of course, uh, but he suffered an anterior cruciate ligament injury, which you all know is one of the worst injuries you can get. Uh, one of them anyways uh, in football uh, probably any sport like contact especially like rugby and stuff probably but anyways um, but he's out for seven months so very very unfortunate so he won't be back for the start of the season he'll probably be back probably back about well roughly the start so say like october november time um, but it's unfortunate really it's seven months he's out for so have to really just do about him it's not gonna be easy because uh, he's one of our main players one of my best players in terms of ratings as well um, obviously most expensive player I have um, but yeah uh, just unfortunate but yeah he's out for that much um, of course we're sick if Everton win that they jump above us which is kind of frustrating and like I said a point it should have been well deserved there in, in my honest opinion honestly in my honest opinion should have been a point each um, but yeah it is what it is so calendar wise so just going back on the results of so 3-2 again like I said to Evan shouldn't have been but it is what it is 4-1 um, over West Brom, that was a decent victory and of course a decent victory over Tottenham winning 2-1 to knock them out of the cup um, it does actually say who we've got in the cup oh we've got Preston wow, so finally we've got actually a, a smaller team in a later round <laughs> we usually beat the smaller team then have a top team which is what we had with Tottenham um, and then now we've got Preston so, yeah, I'm not saying it's going to be easy but it should be more of an easier you know, advancement there uh, for us but yeah, next game, I'll see in a couple of weeks' time. We've got Burnley at home. Hopefully, we get back on our feet with that. And then, of course, Ever um, Newcastle after that. And uh, yeah, games get a little bit easy. 
you know, hardish as well. But yeah, we just have to pick up. Simple as that. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. So you guys, of course, enjoyed this episode. Like I said, I'm going to end it on that. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. I don't know more what I'm thinking about, right? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode anyways. Um, as always, leave a like, of course, and subscribe. Much appreciated. Let me know in the comments what you thought of that game um, in terms of the chances that I probably would have shown and whatever. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe. I don't want to blab on anymore. So, yeah. Take care. And, of course, as always, peace.